This is Mr. McGuire. I just want to touch base with you real quick. Uh, obviously, I know I'm not here today. Uh, so here's our demonstration for today. This is going to be for every class. This is something new for some classes and something <clears throat> uh, not quite as new. Uh, every class we try to be creative. Uh, first period, I know you all are working on um, different things with the news, uh, working on our STLP. Uh, so this is a good project. If you have completed all your assignments, uh, we are going to move towards this. Second period, we, we've worked with this a little bit, but we're going to try some other things with it. And third and sixth period, you all are also working on some uh, projects, but this will be something very creative for you. And fourth period with our photography, uh, you all can implement that as well. So what I want everybody to do today is you're going to go to uh, the quickest way for you is just to go to Google and type in Adobe Express. Okay, so by typing Adobe Express, uh, it used to be called Adobe Spark, now it's called Adobe Express. So we're going to go to that. And again, I even want the yearbook group doing this. I want everybody in every class doing this. Um, at some point, uh, some of you all that have not got your rubrics done for the STLP need to finish those uh, before I return next week. So what you're going to do once you get to Adobe Express, you're going to click on Start for Free. And it's going to allow you to sign in using your Google, and then you're going to use your Enterprise ID. So you let that log in, and like I said, some students have already worked on it, some students have not. Uh, so this is basically the process of how to log into Adobe Express. Our learning target today is we are learning about Adobe Express and the process of creating uh, a workflow using techniques with our appropriate media, arts, tools, and equipment. Our success criteria for today is create an Adobe Express project, learn how to create multimedia projects in Adobe Express, understand the process of changing the hex code, and completing the project by downloading it as a rather MP4, which is a video file, or a JPEG or PNG, which is a still image file. So that being said, to start a project, you're going to go into your plus sign. And right here, you have your custom size graphic, your templates, your collage, your explainer video, your videos, and different things like that. Uh, it's got a lot of cool stuff. You can do banners, you can work on web pages. This is a good one for portfolio uh, and the newsletter, obviously, if you want to create a newsletter to promote what you're doing. But we're going to have a little fun today. So what I'm going to ask you to do is click on collage. When you click on collage, it's going to allow you to upload some pictures. Uh, you can choose some pictures from the stock if you would like. There's a lot of really cool stock photos here that are royalty free that we talked about digital citizenship. They're not uh, copyrighted, obviously, because they're stock footage or photos or still images in Adobe. So let's say we're going to go in here and let me just type in technology and see what comes up. Uh, then you got some technology. So if I wanted to do a collage on something with technology, then I could just choose multiple pictures that I want on a collage that promotes technology. Okay, so let's see, I need three more. Let me go down, there we go. So I'm gonna click next. Now this is the other part where you can decide, are you gonna make it a poster size? Are you gonna make it a social profile picture? Uh, are you going to make it a Snapchat picture for your profile? Or is it gonna be, for some of us older folks, is it gonna be for Facebook? Is it gonna be for YouTube? Uh, any kind of social media, are you gonna use it for your Twitter feed? If you notice, you can do a Facebook there if you wanna do a thumbnail for your YouTube. So let's say I wanna use this for my YouTube channel for school. I'm gonna click on that, click next. So it, it should generate fairly simply, very easy to do, uh, very simple as a collage. And there it is, nothing more that I need to do. There's a collage and it's really easy. Now, if you have created a logo 
and you would like to place your logo there, then you go on photos and then go to your uploads of photos. And then you need to pull the logo up. So in my case, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to call this, uh, we'll just call it collage of technology. If I could spell right with Mr. McGuire. Okay. Now you see it's saved. So I'm going to go back to the home page. Now it's saving again, but remember it's saved. So now you have access. If I want to go to my projects or my recents, there's my recents. Okay. But in this case, if I want to see all my projects, I'm going to click view all. And I've done quite a few things. I want to go in here and find, um, let me find, all right. So let's say I want to use this logo. Okay. Cause I want to use that logo to brand what I'm doing. So I'm going to click on download. I'm going to click on PNG start download. And then I want it to be transparent and I want to be able to see through that. I want it to not have a white background. Okay. So now that it's right there, I'm going to go back to my home. I'm going to pull up the road, the uh, collage that I'm working on. All right. Then I'm going to click on photos, upload photos, and then I'm going to put that one in there that I just downloaded. Okay. And there it is. So now I'm going to move it around. I'm going to double click and make it smaller. Okay. So if you have a logo and you want to promote what you're doing, you can drop it right there. It actually might be better if I put it right here because it's white. <clears throat> now I'm done with my collage, collage on technology, but you know, it wouldn't be a great collage uh, other than just having uh, pictures of technology. You can click on text and I'm going to use the same font that I use from a logo. And then you're going to come in here and this is where the part where you're going to mess with the hex code. So let's say I want to make this Crawford green. We've talked about the hex code. So I'm going to double click that. The hex code of Crawford middle school green is 0 B 050. And there it is. Okay. So that, that actually shows up fairly well. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So let me close that out and kind of get an idea. See if it's in the center. <clears throat> if you want to make sure it's in the center, you see those like dotted lines that pop up like that's offset to the left. That's offset to the right. But if I want it directly in the center, then that is directly in the center. <clears throat> Excuse me. If I want to make it transparent, like, like if you want to just barely see coming soon, uh, you know, whatever you want to be, like well, I could say coming soon, W CMS. Okay. Something like that. Now you can't really see WCMS very well. So I'm going to double click on it. And if you really wanted to add a shape to it, it would outline the shape. But in this case, I think I'm going to put a shadow on it and the shadow is going to be, let's see what it looks like. White. That doesn't look too bad. Let me go all the way. Right. All white is F's. So that makes it look, that makes it stand out a little bit better. And then I'm going to do the same thing with uh, WCMS. So we said white was six F's. There you go. And there it is. So if I want to make that larger, if I want to make that wider, whatever the case may be, there it is. So that's the process of creating a collage. I'd like everybody at least try this. Uh, so what we're going to do with this very quick process is when you're done with the collage, then you're going to click on download. You're going to click, uh, in this case, let's go with a JPEG and start download. And there it is, collage of technology. And that's what it looks like. Okay, so we have our collage right there. It has all the technology that we want. So come up with a theme. Uh, think about how you would like to do it. Uh, if you have your own, if you have your own pictures, uh, this would be a great way to do your own pictures. Uh, again, we go hit plus, click on collage, and then in this case, I'm going to skip. I'm going to go back to my YouTube thumbnail. I don't have anything in there. Now I'm going to start adding my own photos. Okay. Uh, but it's also always easier to add it from the stock just to kind of give you an idea on how to do it. Okay. 
Next step, what we're going to do is you're going to take it. We're going to go to Canvas. We're going to click on Assignments. And we're going to go Assignment 1. And this is going to be, we're just going to call this uh, Collage Demo for 4-15-2022. All classes. Okay. And then I'm going to go here. Let's make this worth 10 points. File upload. I'm going to restrict it to a JPG file. And we're going to say it's due on the 15th. Save and publish. Okay. Call it collage demo for 415-222. And then I'm going to put the link of this video on there so you can see it. Hope you all had a good day. Let's continue to do this, guys. This won't take you very long. Also, you need to work on making your, your zeros. Uh, update those zeros, please. Uh, all the students that are doing STLP, uh, please make sure we get the rubrics done. And uh, I'll see you guys next week.